Hello. First off, um, how's the view? Is it interesting or is it uh, too trippy, too uh, vertigo inducing? If it is, then please let me know. Uh, then I will put an end to this circus. But what I was thinking is that um, as I drive around Bangalore, those who watch this video can join along and uh, have a look at the roads and just the sights and uh, scenes instead of just looking at my face. So I've been thinking of making a series of videos which is more free flow and spontaneous like this one. Um, mostly unscripted. I think some people would like to call something like this unplugged and uh, and I was also thinking of a uh, title for this uh, type of videos or for this series of videos. And the title that came to that came to me was Out of My Mind. Uh, uh, basically, uh, you could take it uh, as I have lost my mind, I'm out of my mind. But it could also be uh, things that come out of the mind of someone like me. You know, thoughts on uh, creativity, beauty. Um, visual art, photography, filmmaking, faith, all those things, right? So, um, for whatever it's worth, this is Out of My Mind, episode 1. For the first video, I wanted to share, it's more like a confession of uh, a failure that I went through last week, a trap that I was in. And it is completely self-induced, uh, it's not anyone's fault. So, uh, but before I get there, uh, I just uh, wanted to share the context of this. I started reading a book and the title of that book is based on uh, a scripture verse which is Proverbs chapter 27 verses 7. And that says, A satisfied soul loathes the honeycomb, but for the hungry every bitter thing is sweet. A satisfied soul loathes the honeycomb, but for the hungry, every bitter thing is sweet. Which means, you know, those who have a lot, those who take it a lot, a lot, those who have eaten a lot, for them, uh, even good things like the honeycomb, which is supposed to be sweet, um, it it's very um, repulsive. It is distasteful. But for those who are hungry and the, and those who don't have it, even when they get a bitter thing, it is very sweet. And that's the experience that happened with me, not with food, but with content online, right? Specifically YouTube. Uh, last week, I watched a lot of YouTube. I stuffed my mind with YouTube to the point that I loathed the honeycomb. Uh, my mind couldn't focus. I was exhausted. And, uh, but I was, you know, intaking all this content, right? The interesting thing is, you know, this content uh, itself was not bad. I was just not mindlessly scrolling. I had specific things to watch and that's what I did. But the problem is I did too much of uh, consuming. And um, that's that's actually a big problem that I've seen in me. And it's also a problem that I am seeing in um, other people. Because what happens is that, you know, consuming by itself, there's nothing wrong with that. And there's a lot of good stuff out there. But consuming is just activates or it just use one part of who we are, our mind and our soul, right? Think about it this way. Think of a three-legged stool or a tripod. The three legs are um, creation, contemplation and consumption, right? But often I've seen in my life and you know what, uh, what we've been doing as a society and as a culture is that we have chopped off the other two legs of the tripod or the stool and we have overemphasized and we spend too much time on uh, consumption and when we do that we find the entire experience uh, distasteful it's 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 the classic thing that we studied in schools that the law of diminishing returns and our minds are not meant for that right we are made in the image of god as they say and you know we are made to create so when we over consume and under create or under contemplate, then it's like a short circuit in our mind. So we are not meant to do that. Uh, so that's that's some that's something that I was really kind of shown firsthand uh, in my experience uh, last week. And what I wanted to do is that you know I wanted to be hungry, 
बिकॉज वेन वी आर हंगरी वेन वी हैव रेस्ट्रिक्शन दैट एक्चुअली ओपन अप ओपन अप आर माइंड एंड आर हार्ट टू हैव लाइक अ फुलर एक्सप्रेशन एंड टू एक्चुअली डू थिंग्स एंड टू कैंड ऑफ बी प्रोडक्टिव एंड यू नो ऑल दो थिंग्स राइट बट वी थिंक इट्स इट्स एक्चुअली अ सेल्फ डिसेप्शन वी डिसीव आर सेल्स इन टू थिंकिंग दैट हे यू नो वॉट आई एम टायर्ड आई हैड अ लॉन्ग डे एंड दिस दिस स्टफ दैट आई एम टेलिंग माई सेल्फ यर i i had a long day or a long week and you know i have big plans for myself i need to do self care i need some motivation i need some inspiration and that's why therefore i am you know watching all these things but then here's the thing true motivation or true inspiration is not a narcotic and say it again true motivation or true inspiration is not a narcotic meaning that you know if you are actually inspired the result of that inspiration is not that you will crave more inspiration you know you are motivated but then what you do that motivation you look for more motivation you know if if that is a thing then something is seriously broken right something is seriously broken if uh, if we are in this endless loop of inspiration and motivation so then i remember like this principle which a lot of people have spoken about you know if you go online uh, you could read a lot about it but a friend of mine he kind of shared this with me many years ago saying that when we think about our online lives and our online presence we should never consume more than what we create right so that's that that's a good mental yardstick for us basically we have to create more than we consume and this applies you know and this definitely applies to somebody like me you know i can't be a a professional artist a professional photographer or a filmmaker and you know kind of spend hours and hours you know just scrolling stuff or even watching good content if that supersedes my creation and my contemplation right but this also applies to uh people who are not full time professionals so if you're watching this and if you are uh if you have hobbies like you know gardening or cooking and you know all those things those are creative acts you know engaging in those will give you much more le- uh, satisfaction and you know those will uh those who qualify as proper leisure much more than consuming stuff and you know one class example why i mentioned cooking is that you know um you've seen these condensed 30 second recipe videos where you know they show you the the item for the or the recipe and they do like a time lapse and in the end you have like a cake right uh those really drive me nuts because those are very easy to consume but then you're not doing anything about it i don't know a single person who's passionate about cooking or a single chef Who who has become a better chef or a better cook because they've seen those thirty second videos? I I haven't met anybody. Same thing goes for any creative activity, right? But I've seen lots of people who have improved, who have done a lot of things by actually doing the stuff, you know, actually working, actually experimenting. Uh, so that's that's the whole the conclusion of the matter is that uh, creativity or creation is always better than consumption, right? and um, in fact you know even when we look at proper leisure um we can actually turn our leisure activities into uh creation activities so if we are reading a book or watching a good movie if we take notes on that book or if we just kind of jot down why we like that movie and what we liked about it that instantly turns consumption into creation right so this this is a principle that anyone can use this applies to anybody and this is a strong reminder for me and you know i am uh, i am by no means uh, out of that trap in fact out of frustration what i did is i installed a few plugins which uh, which blocks off all the stories and reels and uh, recommended content on all these social sites on youtube instagram twitter facebook linkedin everything so uh so that i could be more focused on how i spend my time online right so uh if you wish you could do that too and if um if this video that you're watching now keeps you in a consumption loop then please by all means unsubscribe or stop watching to to my video and to other videos right the point is that you know we have to be more well rounded people to create to make good art uh who work towards truth goodness and beauty and uh an endless cycle of consumption will 100% prevent us from going there and in the process even deceive us thinking that we are doing something creative but at the same time you know all we are doing is consuming
So uh, creation is better than consumption. That is what I wanted to share for this one. And if you have, um, uh, if you stuck around for this long, let me see how long the video is. Okay, we have crossed 10 minutes. If you stuck around for this long, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I think I'll uh, end this video now. And uh, snarl words. And again, I hope you like the view. Uh, I wish I could also give like a commentary on 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 these streets and what we are seeing here. But then yeah, I can't do too many things at the same time when I'm driving. But thank you for sticking around. I think I will stop this video now. And uh, I'll need to stretch out for that or call over. The whichever happens first.